I believe that I have made my magnum opus of tweets. I've done something that I didn't even know was possible. I am more proud of this tweet than any other tweet that I have previously done. This one has made so many people mad. I purposefully made it ambiguous. And there are people in the comments that are talking about the fact that they think that I had a trans awakening. And there are other people in the comments of the same tweet talking about how I am an incel for saying that women have it easier. And oh my fucking god, if I can tap in to both of the fucking sides of the spectrums of unresolved personal trauma that people are unleashing on the world on Twitter with one tweet, I'm gonna call that a dub. Holy shit, people are fucking crazy. I'll read some of these comments. Uh, let's see if I can find some more of them. Only fans win. It's fun, right? And this is another guy thinking that I'm going to start dressing up like a girl. Some of these people become a waifu. It's your destiny. Transition. Sir, have you tried estrogen? You know what you have to do. Chop it off. You dropped this queen. Oh my god. Now you know how hard it is. And and then there's these guys, right? So there's always these guys. Okay? It's like these are the same kind of guys. It's like, how can you be one how can you be racist? There's only one race, the human race. Like that kind of energy. And they fucking go in there and they make a comment like this. I'm sure women streamers receive more complicant, more compliments and more insults and threats overall. This po oh oh now now we're getting into the real the, the the real professionals here. Um this post is cringe. It wasn't about women though, it was about him. Like I'll tell you one thing, it certainly wasn't about you. Ain't nobody thinking about you. Did you enjoy drag? So people think I'm going to be a a drag queen. To me, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I never get insecure about anything except for amounts that I don't have in World of Warcraft and being bad at video games. I don't get insecure about the way I look. Everybody knows I'm balding. Everybody knows I'm missing teeth. I can put on makeup and it doesn't make me feel insecure or less of a man at all. It's just a content, you know, just putting on a show. It's, it's funny. People think it's funny. You just do it. I, I, I don't know. Like, I did not even, I did not even know that this would be a point of contention. Like, guys thinking like, oh, well, you know, you can't do that. Like, why? Why can't you do, you do whatever the hell you want. You're a fucking man. Imagine your dad saying that, though. Funny you should bring that up. Yeah? I look what? What about Miz? Who, who looks better, me or Miz? That means I probably look better. I don't know. It's kind of a tie. I mean, it's a tie for who can go lowest, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Not true. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, yeah. My dad doesn't give a fuck. He actually said that Miz was being a pussy. He was ta I, I talked to him on the phone before I went live today. And he said Miz was being a pussy because he, he was complaining about getting the eyeliner on his eyes. He said back in Vietnam... They used to have to put um, oil camouflage all over their whole face and their eyes uh, and they'd have to sleep in it even because they wouldn't want the Viet Cong to see them. And he's like, and Miz is complaining about eyeliner being put on by a girl. Like, so what, why are you doing that shit?